guys welcome to choose your own renovation a new YouTube series that I'm starting that's hopefully going to be a collaboration between myself and you on the renovation of a house here in East Aurora my name is Christopher Welch I'm a licensed real estate agent with Gurney Becker born so my day job is helping people buy and sell real estate all across Western New York uh, this job though is gonna be a home renovation and I'm very new to that when my wife and I purchased this house a couple of months ago we had absolutely no idea to do what to do with it but we had a lot of friends and family give us ideas on how to bring the house back to life uh, because it was in a very, very poor state. We couldn't really decide on any one direction to take the house in, but I came up with a really unique idea that I thought would be fun to do. I told my wife that I wanted to crowdsource every aspect of the home's renovation from the public and see what you guys could come up with and then sell the house to see how much money it would go for. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lay out some options for you guys on every step of the house. You guys are gonna go, vote, and whatever you decide, no matter what it is, I'm gonna have my contractors come in, execute your vision, and then we're gonna put the house up for sale and see how much it goes for. We really didn't choose East Aurora for any particular reason other than this house kind of presented itself to us and we decided to pull the trigger and really go with it. But I do personally love East Aurora. I've lived here in the past and I currently sit on the board of directors for East Aurora's Music Fest which is a charitable event every single year where we have about 75 to 100 bands playing all around the village and all the proceeds that we make, we give away to charity uh, in and around the East Aurora community. That's going on June 8th of this year. Come down, listen to some really good music. It's for a great cause. Now back to why we brought you guys here. Uh, we purchased 234 Gerard back in November, December-ish, and it was in really poor shape. The entire inside was filled floor to ceiling with things. I had my contractors come in, clear out the interior. They ripped out all the drywall, ripped up all the flooring, got the house down to its bare bones so that we could come through, make our decisions, and start over from a clean slate. I then had my painter come in. We picked out eight different colors. He slapped on some of the paint on the outside of the house so that way you guys can see what it looks like uh, in real time. So when you make your decision, it's not just from a color swatch, it's from the actual exterior of the house having the paint on it so you can kind of see how it looks. Whatever color you go with, we're gonna paint the entire house that color. If you choose a dark one, we're gonna paint the gutters and the trim black. If you choose one of our lighter colors, we're gonna do white trim and white gutters on the house. If any of you have already driven by and seen all the colors on the outside of the house, at least now you know why they're like that. So as you see, it's this red one here with all of the colors on the outside. The chimney's in great shape. Uh, the brick fireplace still works. Uh, they recently put on a metal roof after a tree limb fell through. So we've got at least that big ticket item out of the way. Uh, but everything else really is gonna need a lot of work. Um, I have contractors lined up already to come in and do everything that you guys decide on. And they're just waiting patiently for us to make some decisions. So let's jump right into Choose Your Own Renovation, the East Aurora edition at 234 Gerard. let's get into why we brought you guys here. Let's talk about the exterior color of the house and make our first vote. The exterior of the house is one of the most important features of any home because the moment a potential buyer walks up, they're gonna see the exterior and they're gonna have that gut reaction of whether or not they really like this house. If the color that we pick is something that really speaks to them, it's gonna make them more inclined to love the rest of the house. So, with the colors that we have here, we're gonna talk about not only just the color, but the gutters and the trim as well. If we go with one of the dark colors, we're gonna change out the gutters to black. We're gonna go with a black trim around the windows to kind of keep it cohesive. If we go with a lighter color, then we're gonna keep the gutters white and we're gonna change the trim out to white. So keep that in mind when you're making your color decision about how those things are gonna work out together. All of these colors are through Sherwin-Williams. I'll give you the names as we go along. So if you wanna go ahead and look on the website and see the colors a little bit more, feel free to. We'll start over here on the left. 
our first color that we have is Rookwood Blue Green. It's a pastel green, blends really well, looks great on the siding here. Below that, we have Urbane Bronze. It's a darker gray, and it'll get that black trim and that black gutter combination. Uh, next, a more modern color, Avocado. It's a nice green, it's soft, it picks up light really, really well, uh, and it'll go well with the white color trim. Down here, we have Dard Hunter Green. It's a dark green, and as dark as it looks, it actually is gonna go great with the black trim, and it's gonna give it a more modern look. Uh, next, we have another light color. It's got some gray undertones, it's called Software. It's more of a classic color, and goes really well. Up here we have one of the brightest colors that I've ever seen on a house. It was not this bright when I looked at the color swatch, but it's kind of growing on me. It's called Santorini Blue. And if we paint the house this color, we're definitely going to get a reaction and everyone's going to know exactly which house we're talking about. Up here we have a personal favorite of mine, which is Naval. I painted my home office this color and I think the dark blue mixed with black works out really, really well. Again, a more modern feel. Underneath that, we have another blue, a little bit softer. It's called Labrador, right? Uh, it's going to get that white trim, white gutter combination. It's lighter. It's going to reflect more light. It's going to have a more of a light, fun feel to it. So these are our eight colors. We'll put them up on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You guys go through, pick out which one you want. And then once we close all the voting, we'll see what everyone came up with, what the public consensus was. And then we'll have the painter come out and paint the house. Our next step that we're going to do after we get that vote down pat is we're going to go inside. We're going to look at the current layout of the house and walk you through kind of what we've got going on in there. And then we'll start talking about the new layouts that you guys will be able to choose from.